My name's Emily Benn. My grandfather was called Tony Benn, who was a Member of Parliament for a very long time. And what was great about him was that whether you agreed with him or not, he was very passionate about encouraging people, young, old, wherever you are from, to try and fulfil their dreams, whatever they were. And he encouraged me just like he encouraged lots of other people. I've always been interested in politics, I think, because I am always the type of person when I see something I don't like, I like to speak up. And I don't think you have to wait till you're 50 or 60 to when you see something that's wrong, want to do something about it to change it. When I was 17, I first got selected to stand for Parliament. It was a bit of a surprise, I have to say. I never thought I would win. My mother was more worried about me driving on a motorway than I think she was about the meeting. She definitely didn't think I was going to win either. Um, but I was incredibly proud, and it was a real humbling experience to be there standing up for the values that I believe in and trying to get people to vote for me. You know, there were 85,000 voters in Croydon South. I didn't get around every one of them, sadly. But every day I would meet people and hear their stories and their hopes and dreams for their lives and what made them scared and how politics could be a part of helping. And it was just inspiring. Politics is the way that you can change your community, your country and the world. Groups of people getting together, knowing what needs to be changed, coming up with ideas, that's what we need to see. And don't let other people make the decisions for you. If you don't show up, someone else will, and what they want will happen. Unsurprisingly, I am a massive advocate for young people and young women getting involved in politics. So the Women of the Future Network is this incredible organisation that connects young women with inspirational role models from a whole range of industries across London and across Britain. And this organisation helps inspire hundreds and thousands of young women across London to be part of this amazing network. So I'm just passionate about this organisation and about making sure that all young women across London get access to the role models and the stories that they need so they can fulfil their dreams. In politics and in banking, I have seen plenty of stuff that is discriminatory against women, discriminatory against young women. You still need people helping fight your corner. You need barriers to be broken down. Uh, and people who are fortunate enough to be in positions of opportunity and have all the opportunities, for example, that I've had, you owe it to those less fortunate than yourself to try and do something about it. You've got to work every day somehow to make sure that London, Britain, is a place where it doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter where you've come from, if you want to do something and you want to work hard, you can do it. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.